Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm an agronomist at K-State and today we're going to talk about critical growth stages of corn. So you might be wondering why we care about what's happening to a corn plant when it's only a foot tall. Well, if you look at these two ears, you can see the difference between a corn plant that was taken very good care of during the season and one that had some issues during some critical parts of its development. Which one would you want to harvest if you were a farmer? I think I'd want to harvest this one, which is why we care about all these growth stages that we're going to talk about. And the first key stage is when it first comes out of the ground. That's VE. The vegetative emergence is what that stands for. Basically, that's when that corn plant first pops out of the ground and that's when its life starts. So at that point, we want all of the corn plants to be coming up out of the ground at the same time because if they don't come out of the ground at the same time, some of them are older or younger, which means that during pollination, which we'll talk about in a minute, but they wouldn't be pollinating at the same time, which means you may not have enough pollen to fill those ears. When we get to V5, like this plant here, this is a V5 plant, and V5 is important because during this time, the stem in corn first comes above the ground, which is kind of strange to think about, but this plant as a V5 plant, everything you see here is all leaves. The stem is very, very small. At V5 is when that stem starts to have its growth spurt and the stem actually starts growing above the ground. This is important because once that stem comes above the ground, anything that damages this plant can do permanent damage to that plant when we start looking at ear development. So that's really, really important. If we come over here, we can see some other stages of corn that we're gonna be looking at. This plant is V12, which if you'll recall, means it has 12 collared leaves. At this point, the ears are really starting to develop inside of this plant. We can't see them yet, but it's already determining how many kernels are going to be on each of those ears. Between V5 and V12, nitrogen fertilizer is something that's really important. The plant starts growing a lot, and these green leaves, there's a lot of nitrogen that's in these leaves, which means fertilizer is really important during this time. After plants get to be about this big, weeds aren't as much of a concern because the leaves start taking up more of the light, which means less of it can reach the ground, and weeds aren't as competitive at that point. So this plant will continue growing until we see a tassel popping out the top and silks coming out of our ears. When we see silks coming out of our ears, we know that we've reached R1, reproductive one, the first stage of the reproductive cycle. We can see on this tassel, actually, we have some anthers that have popped out of this corn tassel and are dropping pollen. So what happens is this pollen lands on the ear, pollination, and then it fertilizes. But if we look at these silks, if you've ever, uh, if you could be here and touch these corn silks with me, you would feel that they are very moist. There's a lot of water in these corn silks. They're over 90% water, actually. So if this plant is stressed and doesn't have enough water during R1, those silks will dry out and they won't be able to do their job. So that's why at R1, farmers, if they can irrigate, might put water on because that will help uh, make sure that our ears have enough water to do their job effectively. And if you'll remember that ear we had before, those two ears, looking at all these different stages, we know that each of them is important because it impacts what the farmer sees at the end of the season.